Hi, I'm Tony. I'm going to show you how to remove and refit the main visor and the sun visor on an HJC i71 helmet. The main visor on this helmet is actually a really simple job. So first step, lift the outer visor all the way to the top. And we've got a lever here that we're going to pull to the front of the helmet, which should release this. If it doesn't ping off automatically, we just need to pull it away from the helmet like that. Repeat on the other side. So again, pull this forward, and this time it just pings away like I thought it was going to do the first time around. So in terms of refitting it, if we look here, there's a triangle in the middle of three, these three tabs. Now, the side of the triangle that's pointing towards the bottom of the visor, this side just here, and we're going to line that surface up with the front edge of the housing just here. But the first thing we're going to do is make sure that this has locked forward. It should have done when you pulled it forward to release the visor, but just check beforehand because it will make it really difficult to put the visor on, if not impossible, if that's gone back into its original position. So we'll get that bottom edge there. We'll line it up with that surface there. And then we just give it, apply some pressure to push it home. Click. And all of these need to click into place. So we're just going to give those a run and make sure that all of these are in their channels, which they are there. So on the other side, again, check that this is actually forward. See, that one had slipped back, so it was a good job I checked that. And we're going to line that front edge. It's now facing forward of the triangle with this groove on there. Push that home, and then it's these three tabs that all need to seat into position. Just apply some pressure, and they've all clicked home. Quick check, can't pull that away really easily. So just check the visor operates properly once or twice. That's fine. It's all seated as it should be. So that's how you remove and refit the main visor. Next job, the sun visor. This is a bit fiddlier on this helmet because there's a complication with this lid, as there are on a few HJCs, and that's you've got to make sure that the sun visor is able to drop as far as it can. Now, there's an adjuster switch, like a limit switch, on the travel that sits behind this cover here. So to remove that cover, you just need to push this tab towards the inside of the helmet like that and then slide this down apply some downward pressure that comes off and the switch is just here so to get maximum drop from the sun visor this needs to be to the top so that's now to the top now the sun visor will lower all the way so there's not a lot of room underneath when you've got it at full drop makes it a bit fiddly but just get your finger and thumbs under there now that's clear, but we need to get that all the way out, which just means shuffling this around a bit. And now that's completely clear. It gives us a bit more room to rotate and do the same on the other side. So again, pull and the sun visor's out. Now, as with all good instructions, reassembly is the reversal of disassembly. So let's feed these tangs into the runners that you'll be able to see between the shell and the EPS. So if you need to pick them out, just get the switch. Thankfully on this one, this switch operates both of them. You can just get an idea of where the sun visor should be sitting. Make sure these are all the way to the bottom and then feed the tangs into those channels and then push until you hear the click. So that one's clicked into place. We need to do the same on the other side. So get the visor sun visor so it sits under that rim as best as you can. Locate it into that runner on that side and again push until you hear the click. Okay so that's clicked home. We're just going to check that this is clear of the rim just there. Then we're going to operate on the switch a couple of times just to make sure that it's functioning properly, which that one is. Now before you put it back, you need to make sure the sun visor is fully raised. Then if you don't want to have maximum drop, then just reset this to where your preference was. So this one will put back onto minimum drop. So now it only comes down this far. Reinstall the cover by putting the three tabs on the top of that into their channels just here, here, and here. Locate those in there, and then just push this upwards until it clicks. So that's back in place. The sun visor operates as it should, as does the main visor. That is how you remove and refit the visor and the sun visor on an HJC i71 helmet. Thanks for watching.